Thursday, May 23rd at 11 a.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, in this video, I want to talk about the Great Red Spot of Jupiter. Something mysterious is occurring to the Great Red Spot. It's been a favorite target for astronomers over many, many years. It's so big, many Earths can fit inside the Great Red Spot, or at least that used to be the case. It's been shrinking over the years, but now it's doing something entirely different. The Great Red Spot is coming apart. It's known as the largest storm in the solar system because it's got the characteristics of a hurricane like you'd see on planet Earth. However, like I said earlier, it's many thousands of miles wide. But for some reason, astronomers here very recently have noticed that the Great Red Spot is unraveling. Literally, night by night, they're noticing this thing unravel quite quickly. So it's kind of a mystery that no one seems to have any answers to right at the moment because it just started, basically. And the Great Red Spot has always been there for as long as we've had telescopes. And for this thing to be doing that, you have to ask yourself, what's going on with Jupiter? Is there something going on inside the atmosphere or in the atmosphere of Jupiter? Or is something else influencing this change outside of the atmosphere? Maybe something in the solar system. Is it being caused by the solar minimum? Maybe the changes in the sun and the way that Jupiter interacts with the sun is causing this change. I don't know. Maybe it's something else. Jupiter has an enormous magnetic field that extends well beyond Earth. In fact, Earth is making its close approach to Jupiter right now as I do this video. We are in between the sun and Jupiter right here. I'll show you at my space app right there's the earth and right there's jupiter and we're making our passage between the sun and jupiter right now and we'll be over here on the same side of the sun with jupiter for several weeks so that's a great time to look at jupiter through telescopes even saturn we're on the same side of the sun as saturn so that makes it much uh, much easier target to see even though it's quite large it's easier to see when you're on the same side of the sun but for whatever reasons reasons unknown at this moment and maybe will never be known why the great spot on jupiter the great red spot on jupiter is unraveling literally before our very eyes the largest storm in the solar system we've had some large storms here in the united states over the past several days in fact all week last night saw some exceptional storms go through missouri parts of oklahoma and illinois uh, unfortunately there was a very large tornado that went through jefferson city missouri um, i'll post some links or you guys can find the the information regarding that terrible uh, storm that touched down far as i know though no one was hurt in Jefferson City. I do think there were some injuries in another town north of Joplin. I think it was called Golden City. Um, unfortunately, I think three people perished in that tornado. These storms were very, very intense. And I was watching them on radar there at the Ghost 16. And you can see the tops of these storms were reaching incredible heights. Those are 50,000 footers. And when storms reach that height, they are at Full potential anything on the on the table is in those storms with regard to tornadoes large hail high winds and of course heavy rain and in some cases an extreme amount of lightning so when you see storms like that obviously you want to take them seriously and be ready to take shelter in a moment's notice like Barbara did she took some pictures of the storm safely she sent me that one of some large hail that was probably at once 40,000 feet in the air and here's a tornado that she saw as it was coming down out of the sky near Okmulgee, Oklahoma. And I'll show you where Okmulgee is with regard to those storms. It's right up here in northeastern Oklahoma, right here. That's probably the storm that dropped that, well, one of the twisters that came down last night, yesterday evening, right in there. And then it went up through Missouri. And like I said, unfortunately, in Jefferson City, Missouri, they received a lot of damage from the storms. In fact, right now, these systems that are moving through the upper Midwest, through Indiana, uh, Ohio, Michigan is on the backside of this uh, system, receiving a lot of wind. Even though it's not necessarily raining in Michigan, they're receiving a lot of wind, which is creating power outages. We've got power outages right now in four different states, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, and Missouri. Right now, Michigan at 32,000, Indiana at 29,000. If we click on Michigan, it looks like 
southern Michigan has the most or the bulk of the power outages from those storms that went through. Indiana, more than likely, north and part of north central Indiana. Storms again. Uh, Missouri, probably widespread. You have central and southwestern Missouri. So these storms are going to continue for the next couple of days. There's a pattern that just keeps recycling over and over and over again. Right now, this system's energy is moving to the upper northeast where there are tornado watches and warnings today. Severe thunderstorm watches and warnings for parts of the upper northeast in Pennsylvania, parts of New York, New England, Maryland. Ohio, obviously, and as these storms were rolling through central Indiana this morning, as you can see here at the Ghost 16, I received some photographs. This first one here is from Ray. This was taken early this morning around 6 a.m., and this is a panoramic view of a shelf cloud that was rolling through central Indiana. This is part of the reason that there are many power outages right now in central Indiana, along with this weird-looking set of clouds here that was sent in by Brian from Terre Haute, Indiana. Once again this morning, this photograph was taken very early in Indiana. Almost looks like something you'd see in a science fiction movie. Look at that. Look at those waves in the sky. And again, that was associated with this front that was moving through the central plains this morning, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and it caused power outages and a lot of heavy rain. I don't think any tornadoes that I that I know of. Here's the tornado from Oklahoma. Barbara took that photograph along with this hail that was rumbling around at the tops of those clouds at 40, 50,000 feet. And on the west coast of the United States, this photograph was sent in by D from San Jose, California. And it's of a tree that was struck by lightning. This is something that you would probably see in the Midwest, maybe the upper Midwest or the, the Gulf states where lightning, especially in Florida, where lightning is very common. But in San Jose, California, Dee said that this isn't necessarily a common sight. That's why she sent me the photograph, because they don't normally see trees get struck by lightning too often. And I've had this photograph since the beginning of the week when storms went through north central California. That's why we've been keeping a close eye on Oroville Dam. But you can clearly see that this tree was indeed struck by lightning. You can see the black mark right there where the lightning strike went right down the center of the tree, compromising that branch that ultimately landed in the neighbor's front yard. Cleveland, Ohio saw some unbelievable storms this morning. I saw some video footage where it looked like Cleveland was inside of a dishwasher. Rain was coming down sideways. Just unbelievable. Go here to the website, MrMBB333.com. You can click on the lightning tab. You can see a lot of lightning in general across the northern hemisphere. If we go to North America, right now the total counts at 20,000 and climbing. Look for that number to go up as the day uh, moves forward. Power outages I just showed you guys. Four states probably got in the neighborhood of 60,000 people without electricity right now as I do this video. At one point last night during the height of those storms as they were going through northeastern Oklahoma, southwestern Missouri, and central Missouri, there were 14 counties at one time. This is a still image I took from the GO-16 of severe weather. The yellow is severe thunderstorm warning. Red is tornado warning. I've never seen a map look like this. 14 counties at the same time had tornado warnings issued through Missouri. And that's when the tornado unfortunately touched down in Jefferson City, Missouri. We like to see these tornadoes, if they have to occur, occur out over open fields or unpopulated areas. Unfortunately, from time to time, they are going to occur over populated areas. And last night, that was the case, I think, a couple of times. One hit in Jefferson City, Missouri, and I think Golden City, Missouri, just north of Joplin. So a lot of tornadoes last night. Once again, I watched a storm go towards a friend of mine's house, and I was telling him through text message to take cover. I knew he was well aware of the situation anyway because everybody has these storm alerts configured on your phones, as you should. That's an excellent tool to have to give you a heads up when severe weather is moving into your area. But I just happened to have my radar on, and I noticed a very tall storm right here moved through west central Illinois, going right towards his house. And I was like, oh my. And then once they changed the track, it went right directly towards where he lives. And this pink on this radar indicates very high rotating clouds. Don't necessarily think there was a tornado. In fact, he said there wasn't, but they did have severe weather. And it could have though, that the potential was definitely there. At one point they showed 
potentially four inch hail i think golf ball size hail was reported but those pinks when you see pink on here that's a fifty thousand foot storm that's capable of pretty much anything it wants to do tornadoes straight line winds large hail and heavy heavy rainfall that can create very rapid flash flooding so that storm did go directly at my friend's house last night as the other storms went through missouri parts of oklahoma and uh, west central illinois all evening long and look for those storms to return as they're not done yet there's a ridge of energy that's parked here and it's going to be here for the next few days but if you're in the upper northeast look for possibly tornadoes today and severe thunderstorms as this weather continues to roll across the United States. Don't forget to check out the website, MrMBB333.com. All the data you see here is real-time data updated 24-7. Daily report is the newsroom up here at the top. New news stories updated at least once a day, sometimes multiple times a day. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day, and be safe out there.